Hi everyone, today you're going to learn how to use our plugin Git WooCommerce Bulk Product Editing so you can save time and effort by bulk editing as many products from your shop as you want to. With this plugin, you can bulk edit products name, price, attributes, catalog visibility, and more. Before we get into it, please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Editing the products on your store can be time-consuming if you have hundreds or thousands of products. For example, let's say you want to apply a 10% discount on all of the products of your shop or on products of a specific category. Editing each one of those products can really take a lot of your time and even become a hassle. That's why today we're going to talk about our bulk product editing plugin. With this plugin, you're going to save time and effort by bulk editing your products. Let's go over to Yid, Bulk Product Editing. You'll see it only has three tabs, Products Table, Settings, and Help. In this first tab, Products Table, we're going to find several steps. First of all, we have to build the Products Table. So we need to choose which fields related to our products we want to show in the table. We can do this by clicking on Enable Fields. You're going to see the fields here. You can disable all, enable all. You can search for a specific field. You can uncheck and check each field. And right here you have the option to add custom fields or taxonomies. Let's create a custom field first. So here we have to choose custom field. Now I'm going to look for that custom field in one of my products. So I'm going to go to the product section. I'm going to select one of my products. I'm going to scroll down to the custom fields section and I'm going to take this one, total sales. I'm going to copy this field back to the plugin dashboard and I'm going to paste the custom field here. For type, you can choose text or price. In this case, it's going to be text. And for label, you can enter a label that helps you identify this custom field. I'm going to click here on add and there it is, there's my custom field. I can edit it here by clicking on this pencil and delete it. And of course I can unselect it. And now I'm going to create a taxonomy. In this case, because I already have our brands add-on plugin, I can select brands as the custom taxonomy. I'm going to click here on add and same situation, I have brands here. Now I'm going to select some of these fields, not all of these. So I'm going to click here to disable all of the fields and I'm going to select my custom field and my custom taxonomy and let's select sale price, stock quantity, stock status, SKU, product type and let's search for regular price as well. There we go. I'm going to save. There we go. So now we have this product table with the fields I selected. By default here, you're going to see all of the products from your store, but you can filter the products and create table views. You can do this by clicking here on filter products. For example, I can filter all of the products that have a regular price that is you have higher than, less than, equal to, higher than or equal to, and less than or equal to. These are the options for this specific field. I'm going to choose less than and I'm going to enter $100. So I'm going to be filtering all of the products with a regular price lower than $100. You can filter by product name, description, SKU, height, stock quantity, status, categories, and more. So let's say we're going to filter for products that have a regular price under $100 and are currently in stock. And if you scroll down, you're going to see this option to save as table view. You can save this as a table view in case you usually want to edit the same products for the same categories, for example. So in this case, I can save the table view 
So whenever I want to bulk edit products that are under $100 and in stock, I can simply select the table view and just skip this second step. I'm going to name this table view and then I'm going to click on get products. You can of course also reset filters here, but I'm going to click on get products. There we go. So now I only have the products that have a regular price under 100 and that are in stock. I have five products per page, but you can change it to 10 for example. There we go, 10 products. And here in table view, you can see I have the one I just created selected, but you can click here to see all products, low stock products, products without image, any other table view you created, or you can click here on manage views to create new ones. And here you can set the conditions to filter the products. We're going to go back. Now, how can we bulk edit these products? You can either select all products by clicking here. So you're going to be bulk editing all of the products that we have in this page. There are 10 products. Again, you can change this and show as many products as you want to per page. So you can just select the products and click here, or you can just select some of the products instead like this and click on bulk editing. Now here I have these sections and these are related to how many fields we enable on the first step. Let me go back and I'm going to enable all of the fields here. Enable all, save. So now you can see we got more fields here. We got the product image, the sale price, categories, featured, date, total sales. This one, remember, is the custom field I created in brands, which is the custom taxonomy. Now I'm going to click on bulk editing again. We get this model window where we have all of these sections. We have the general section where we can change the product name, for example, set new, prepend, append, replace, removed, empty, the slug, the SKU, the description, whether these are sold individually or not, the status, and more even the catalog visibility. Then you have the images section where you can, for example, set a new image for all of the products selected or set new images for the image gallery. Then we have the categories tag and attribute section where you'll find different options for the categories, the tags, the colors, materials, size. These are related to the attributes I have created on this site. If I expand here, I'm going to see more options visible on product page, use for variations, default. Then we have prices. Here we can change the regular price, the sale price. We can even schedule the sale price, the taxes. Then we have shipping, so we can set the shipping class, weight, height, width, and length. Then we have stock. So we can change these settings. We have advanced options to change the product type, whether these are featured products or not, virtual, downloadable, and more. We have the custom field here, which is total sales. I'm not going to change this, but you have all of these options. And then you have custom taxonomies. We have brands here. We can set a new brand. For example, we can set Adidas for these three products. Now. Let me go back to prices so we can make one change. We're going to change this product's regular price. We can set a new price. We can increase by value, decrease or increase or decrease by percentage. Let's increase the prices by 20%. I'm going to save. Okay, so I increased this product's regular price by 20% and added this brand to these three products. You're going to see in this color the changes that were just made in the bulk editing model window. Here's another way to edit products. I can click on this pencil icon to edit a field. For example, this product has a $53.04 price. I'm just going to change it to 53. Apply. Same here. 
I can change it to $118. Apply. You can see this sneaker's price is going to be changed to $118. And now I'm going to save the table. And that's it. Now the changes have been applied to the products that I selected before. You'll notice the sneakers are not here anymore. That's because the last price change was to $118. And this table view I created is for products that have a regular price under $100. So a product that is $118 should not appear here. While you're making changes, for example, you can change whether it's a featured product or not, the date, the category. Let's change the category here, for example, to men, apply. And before you save this change, you can undo it here and redo it here. There we go. So I'm going to save this one again. There we go. We can also show or hide columns in this table here. For example, I have ID right here. You can see it here. I'm going to uncheck this one. Save. And now I do not have the ID column. You can also select the products and duplicate them, move to trash, delete them permanently, and even export the products. You can export any product from your site. And you can import products with the WooCommerce import tool that you'll find in products right here. You can just click here to import a CSV file with your products. Back to the plugin panel. As mentioned previously, we can select a new table view here. Let's select all products for example. Let me uncheck these products and let's look for a product using this search bar. Here you can enter a product name or the SKU. Let's search for a watch. I get as a result the only watch I have in my shop. And you can also add new products here by just clicking on this plus sign. You can add the product name, the image, description, short description, regular price, sale price, categories, status. You can create a product here and just save it as draft, pending review, private, or publish it. Let's go back. Let's select the table view we created during this video, products under $100. Of course, since the watch is not in this table view, I do not get a result here. Let's delete this. Let's go see the other two tabs. We have the settings tab. This is where you're going to find the plugin general options. You have the option to round out prices. You have the option to select how to show the category names. You have category only with its slug, parent and subcategory, parent and subcategory with its slug. Then we have the option to hide columns per user. If I enable this option, the plugin will store hidden columns settings per user instead of using the global ones. Then we have the option to use regular expressions. If you enable this option, the plugin will let you use regular expressions in the replace option in the bulk product editing table. For example, I'm going to enable this, save options. I'm going to go back. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to select this product. I'm going to click on bulk editing. And for product name, you're going to see this replace option. I can replace, for example, the word slippers for shoes. Let's go back to settings. And then the last option here is the use like carry option. By enabling this option, the plugin will use like carry to retrieve products to improve the website performance. And then we have the last tab, the help tab. Here's where you're going to find a link to the plugin documentation so you can read more about how to configure the plugin and how it works the frequently asked questions, and you also have the option to submit a ticket in case you need help from our developers. Okay, so that's how you can use our plugin. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video. Bye.